Okay, so that, that means all places in the Bible. Did you know that? Okay, so who are you on this side, Sayla? Oh, sorry. This side. Where's your father from? Give me numbers one and eight. Oh, you're from the tribe of Simeon. Well, all praise. But we're going to show you why I asked you that question. <laughs> Give me Numbers 1 and 18. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation. So they assembled all the congregation. This is the book of Numbers. They assembled all the congregation. Go ahead. Together on the first day of the second month. On the first day of the second month. Read on. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. They declare their pedigrees after their families. So if your dad's of Latin descent from the Dominican Republic, you will be from the tribe of Simeon. You take an apple seed, you plant an apple, apple seed, and you say you take it to Japan. What's gonna, what's gonna come up? Apples, that's, that's, that's the point. That's the point. Now our job since, give me Mark 14 and 17. Our job since is to teach repentance to unrepentant Israelites here in the hood. You understand right. that? How do you repent? Do you know? How, how, if I say, help me to repent or give me some keys on how to repent, how would you go about doing it? That's good. You're right. Absolutely. But I'm going to read this scripture out first. Matthew. Matthew. Matthew 4, verse 17. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Read. From that time, Jesus began to preach. So that from that time, the same way we're preaching, the same way we are preaching, go ahead. And, and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You must repent under these laws through Christ. Now, with that being said, you got any questions? You got any questions, brother? You got any questions? Now, with that being said, I'm going to give you a law, brother. I'm going to give you a law and say la. Say la. I'm going to give you a, I'm gonna give you a law also, okay? It's very important that you know, it's, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? You're 28? It's very important for you to be on the earth for 28 years and have no relationship with God, that's a very dangerous thing that you are doing. You like it, are you married? Okay, I'm not married either, but he's married, he has a wife, so he knows what? He knows what she likes and what she doesn't like. They have a relationship. If you love God, like you say you do, you must have a relationship with God. You must know what he likes and what he dislikes. Do you understand? I don't want you to just shake it. I want you no, to I, do I want you to understand what I'm saying. Now, what else do we got? Yeah, good guy. Leviticus chapter 21. What's your name, brother? Kenneth. Andrew? Kenneth. Kenneth, listen to this. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Hey, brother, the Bible says for you not to make boldness on your head, please. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall you shave off the corners of your beard. You see, you got that bald head and no beard that's against God's laws. So you're in sin. So you must, what must you do? You must let your hair grow and let your beard grow in. That's a simple law that our people can do, but why do we bald our head? To appease the woman. Because women like that bald head to appease the woman. You are not to follow behind the woman. The woman is to follow behind you. Again, in righteousness. Keeping of God's laws. Now go to Deuteronomy 25. Let's use the head. Why do you wear pants? Let me ask you. Why, why do you wear pants? Why? I like black pants. <laughs> you just like black pants? Okay, you like black pants. Have, have, have you ever worn a skirt or a dress? I don't like skirts. Why? Wow. Wow. Okay, well, dresses. You, so you wear dresses. You would feel more. Would you feel more feminine in pants or a dress? Both. I'm not gonna lie. See, reason why. Because I feel like a boss in men, but in a dress. 
Guess what? Wow. Wow. You know, you know, you know you're not supposed to, you, you're not equal to the man. It's like the scriptures say. The scriptures say that you are not equal to the man. You do know that. No, you do what you do. You do what you do. What My point is this. What does woman mean? I know I'm jumping around a lot. What does woman mean? Give me a definition of woman. Kind of, kind of close, kind of close. When it says she shall be called woman. Two or three things. Yeah. Give me that. There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no form of independence, and America tells you that you can wear pants and you can be independent, but the Bible does not work that way. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 23. And Adam said, This now bone of my bone. So Adam was the first created from the earth. Adam was the only one created from the earth. So read. And flesh of my flesh. Is that 21? 21, 21, 21. Verse 21. Read. And the Lord God called the deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And the Lord God called the deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Read on. And he slept. And he slept. And, and he took one of his ribs. And he took one of his ribs. Go ahead. And closed up the flesh. And closed up the flesh. See, people think this is a mistake on a page. This is a true book. This is not just a book like we like to say. But read on. Instead thereof, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man. So the rib which the Lord God took from Adam. Go ahead. Made he a woman. He made he a woman. So there's no independence in America. You come from the man, but yet you say the man, the pants make you feel like a boss. Mm. I'm, just, I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just trying to reform your thought. You have to change your thought process. The woman comes from the man. Read on. And brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones. Now bone of my bone, go ahead. And flesh. Of my flesh. And flesh of my flesh, go ahead. She shall be called woman. You shall be called woman. They don't tell you that in church. You're here because you come from the man. They do. So it's your job to be joined to a man right. in but righteousness. It's different. It's different for me because I live I live by the word of God. And I am a woman, but I have three kids. Okay. You know, and no man never gave me the opportunity to follow him because where they was going, I didn't want to go. Okay. So right where, now, where, where, where I'm on my going? own. So the you're on your way. own right now. Okay. So I'm on my own. I, I, does, I does it on my own. You know? Years, you know? And I'm very independent. You know? I mean, if I, I wasn't, I wouldn't be right here. I mean, because you know? cause, cause, cause of your situation, you feel the need to be independent. But that's part of the curses. We are, we are as people are cursed because we broke the laws of God. Are, are, they, are they the same? Is it the same paternal father or are they, are they the same? Same father. Okay, good. Okay. We used it before. I'm going to show you why these things happen. It's, Deut it's in the Bible. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you. We as men are tender, emotional, irrational. Tender among you, meaning feminine or soft, so to speak, to put it plain. Read. And very delicate. Go ahead. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. The black man and Latino man are evil towards each other. Right or wrong? Right. Yeah. You look at them wrong, they'll put a bullet in your behind. They want to kill you. Yeah. Read. And toward the wife of his yeah. bosom. Read it again. Read it again. So that the man that is tender among you. Read and very delicate, Read. his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Eyes evil toward his brother, read on. And toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the wife of his bosom, that's you. Read. And toward the remnants of his children. The remnant of his children, is he involved with his kids? Yeah. Well, most yeah. black people, they just have babies. I'm out, got my baby. Damn, Maury Polish every day. You are not the father. That is, that is a damn disgrace. It is. And now people sit there and watch it in awe. Every day. And it makes me sick when I hear it when I when I watch. I can't watch it. You're yeah. not the father. Give me uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 8. 
1 Timothy 5 and 8. And Jerry Springer. These are things that plague the black and Latino community. We don't take care of our kids. We don't take care of our families. And it's documented here in the Bible. It's our job, we bring it to life to make it sure we bring it to life to this truth in the Bible. How much you live, you must live if you live according to what God, God's laws. You can't just quote 1 Timothy 5 and 8. First yeah, Timothy listen, chapter 5. Now listen, listen, read. Verse 8. But if any man provide not for his own. He said, if any man, if any man provide not for his own, he's what black and Latino men are not doing. They are not taking care of their kids. They are not an intricate part of their children's lives. And that's very dangerous with the way society is made. Go ahead. And especially for those of his own house. And for those of his own house, go ahead. He hath denied the faith. He denied the faith, go ahead. And it's worse than an infidel. It's worse than someone who don't believe in anything. It's a, a, a waste of space and time. You see what the Bible's saying? These things you don't learn in church. Read it again, First, First Timothy chapter five, and verse 8, but if any provide not for his own, if you don't provide for your own kids, go ahead, and especially for those of his own house, you, 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 you're supposed to be in the house together with your kids. You have an apartment, but my point is this, the law says you're supposed to be living together. Yeah. You're not supposed to be separate. Separated. It's impossible yeah. for you to raise three kids by yourself. You have boys or daughters. See that's see, see that's that's the big girl, he's gonna get swallowed. If he's not if he's not keeping God's laws, he's gonna get swallowed up in society. Right. You understand that? What's that? Ephesians six and four. Yeah, we we get that, get that, get that, get that. About being raised up in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But it's imperative for you to have three children. You must teach them God's laws. But at the Bible, you're nothing. You're just an American or a regular person walking around. The reason why I'm speaking like this is because it's, it's imperative that we repent and get right with God. Like I said, it's, it's important that you know who God is. You too, sis. You know who God is? How do you, how do you know? How do you, how do you have a relationship with God? Why do you pray? Why do you pray? To or who do you see? When you... Okay, you draw. Who do you play? You, you know that God has a color, colors in the Bible? I know he's black. You know that. Yeah. So everybody says that they know that, but why are they calling what the Bible says? Why aren't they? Like you say you know, who do you find out? Read it by reading through the Bible. Okay, what scripture do you use? I don't have a scripture to prove. I have to get my other son. Okay, but the secret of sin. I got it. You gotta repent, sis. But read that. See how see how people are, they say they know. Blind but when, when you when you ask some questions, it's like, oh nigga, go ahead, alright, shut up, nigga. Daniel, chapter 9, verse 7. Say loud, listen. O oh Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee. Daniel chapter 7, verse now, 9. Now this is Daniel in a vision. He sees the Most High God. He's going to explain to you what he sees in a vision. Go ahead. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. World history is documented in the Bible. You've got the Babylonians, the Africans, the Persians and Medes, which is the Elamites, the Indians, the Rome, I mean Greek and the Rome. Those are the four captivities. Babylon, Persian Medes, Greece, and Rome. That's in the book of Daniel 7, but we're not going to go there. But he says, to the thrones were cast down. That's what he's saying. So go ahead. And the Ancient of Days 
did sin. The Ancient of Days did sin, meaning he has no beginning and no end. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment was white as snow. So what does that mean about God? God has a body. Right. God has a body. He's not a puff of smoke. Right. If he made God his own image, and we made us his own image, that's why we have a head, we have arms, we have legs, we have feet, because we are made in God's image. Right. Read. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. See, see, say lie? That's Christ, but the head of his hair, like the pure, pure wool, like this brother's hair. That's woolly hair. Read on. His throne, his throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. That's going into the chariots. But my point is this. I brought out the fact that color is in the Bible. Image is in the Bible. God is black. Christ is black. Right. That's my point. We tend to assimilate and want to be like the white culture. Because the white man Jesus is what we see on TV. You understand? Yeah. Now back to the pants. I'm not going to forget the pants. Deuteronomy 28, 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does that mean? Let me ask you a question. I'm happy to be on something like this. Do you think it's the female fault why men is homo? No. Okay. Because I had, I heard it from somebody, and I was really arguing about that because I think whatever happened in his life or in it, his home, it maybe, could, it could have, some, is their parents' fault. Okay. That's where it starts. That's where it stems from. Yes. <laughs> maybe so something happened to him. He people got think violated. that women allow men to be homo no, 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 and no. think that it's okay. I mean, it's not my child, so Two and, um, just because I have no concerns so. with it doesn't make me okay with it. No, if a woman, no, the question you ask is if is a woman for and a man is a homo. Why, why a, a man, man is, is a, a homo. homo? Yeah. No, in some sense, I, what the, in some sense, say if you is a woman that's a mother. Yeah. Right? And you have a child and you raising that child. Okay, all right? And, and, and the child is doing certain things. You understand? Um, let me get um, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm going to show you what the scriptures say because some mothers, they raise, they raise their kids and they raise their kids to be little girls. You understand why? Because they really wanted a girl. They didn't want a boy. That's messed up. You understand? So some mothers does that. You understand? And what does it do? It put a homosexual, soft, feminine spirit on that little boy. You understand? Hey, get that scripture and read it. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God says women shouldn't wear what pertain unto men. All right, we're going to jump back to that, but the second part I want to read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall what? A man put on a woman's garment. So God says a man should not put on a woman's garment. So you as a mother, right? If you got a son and your son put on your heels and walking around in the oh, house with it. Okay, but guess what some mothers do? Some mothers laugh and joke about it. Oh, yeah, you okay, understand? understand? But they don't understand. As a when a little boy, when a, when you have a little boy and he do that, it put in a woman's spirit on him, because men should not wear what pertain unto woman. Okay. If you see a, if you see your son wearing a shorts, it's wearing a skirt, a woman's skirt. You go, you go whoop his behind. Listen, yeah. take that, take that thing off. You understand? That's what. So your question, when you ask if a woman could turn uh, a, um, a, a, a young man into a homosexual, yes, she can. If she's an unfit mother, she could destroy that little boy and turn him, turn him, turn him into a homosexual. How? By not correcting him. You understand? Yeah, yeah by not correcting him because when he growing up he got a feminine spirit you don't correct him because the father not a run because we men if we see that we go yeah, our, yeah. our son we tell our son mm -hmm. acting like a girl or walking or talking like a girl we gonna smack him behind his head yeah, he walk he put on your shoes walking around we gonna but yo take that thing off and smack him in his head yeah. 
But today in this society, you got single mothers raising these young black men. You understand? Yeah, yeah. And a lot of these young black men is raising to be weak and effeminate, girly. A lot of them talk like girls. Yes, no. But read, read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God says that a woman should not wear what pertains unto men. What is that talking about? We just give the analogy. The, um, the pants. Okay, it's talking about pants. Because yeah. when you look in front of a pants, you see a zipper. Yeah. All right? What does zipper signify? Okay. This is where the man put all his penis and take a pee. All right? So that show that that pertain unto men, but today in society they say, no, woman can wear pants, it's okay, but listen, your grandmother, yeah, or oh, these are woman pants. But believe it or not, your, our grandparents never wore pants. I'm from the islands. I never saw my grandmother in no pants. In, in, here, in, here in America, back in, the, back in the early 60s, 50s, women never wore pants. You understand? So where does that come from today? That come from, 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 from um, the woman feminist movement. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination. So what God says? All that do so are an abomination. So God says all that do so is an abomination. So right now you dress in pants, right? Yeah. God says you are abomination. You understand? We are living in mis. You know why this place? You know what America is called in the Bible? America is called Mystery Babylon the Great. You understand? Why is it called Mystery Babylon the Great? The abomination. It's called the abomination of the earth. You know why? Because America promote abomin. Anything in the Bible writes about and they talk about is the abomination. America supports it. All right. Homosexuality. God says that's an abomination. Right. America supported. You understand? You got a question? No, no, no. no. It, was, it was right on point. You said it. I did. Uh, give me James one and fourteen. You asked about the homosexuality. Oh, what, what the brother was bringing up, where a woman, a woman, more. Now we deal. We gonna deal with men. Can if I'm a grown man and I'm dealing with you, can you make me a homosexual? No. Because I'm a dung. Because you got some brothers that's a that's dung low brothers. You yeah. understand? They got a wife and they banging dudes also. You understand? They call trans, what they call um, bisexual. You understand? A woman can't make a man that way. Let me get James. James 1 14. James chapter 1, verse 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. Every man is tempted when he's drawn away. From his own lust. That's a lust that he has inside of him. Right. Go ahead. James chapter 1, verse 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and every, enticed. Every man is tempted when he's drawn away with his own lust and enticed. Go ahead. Then, when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. When lust, the lust inside of him perceived itself, it came to fruition. And sin, and when, sin. when it is finished, bringeth forth death. When it is finished, it bringeth forth death. Now, if he's in that lifestyle, he doesn't repent, he's going to get put to death. Right. That's right. Do not, do not err, my beloved brethren. So he says, don't err, don't make an error. Go ahead. Every, yes, 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 yes. yes. But do you understand the point? No one's. That's just a lust that he has inside him. Give me Romans 1 and 28. No one's, no one's. Sorry. Sorry. Romans chapter 1, verse 28. And even they, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. They don't retain God in the knowledge, the laws of God. Go ahead. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. What does the word reprobate mean, Shayla? I don't know. Meaning you can't, you can't make a judge, you cannot make a, a normal decision. Right. You don't you're void, you're void of judgment. You don't, know what, is. you don't know what good and evil is. You're void of judgment. I know eating pork is evil, so reprobate. God gave them over 
to a reprobate mind. A reprobate mind. Meaning you're void of judgment. You don't know good from evil. To do those things which are not convenient. To do those things which are not convenient. Go ahead. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Being a homosexual is not convenient. Fornication. Fornication. That's having uh, sex with multiple partners. Mm. Are you married? No. Go ahead. Wickedness. Wickedness. Go ahead. Covetousness. Covetousness. You desire something someone else has. Adultery is a form of covetousness. Like desire like somebody else's man? Yes, that's, that's, that's covetousness. If you steal a cell phone, that's covetousness. When you read the Ten Commandments, what's the last commandment? Thou shalt not covet. You know why? Oh. Because if you covet, if you covet, you're going to break all nine. That's a bump. Okay, Stealing is something. Know. You understand? Yeah. Stealing is something you covet something someone else has. A cell phone. That's covetousness. Yeah. Favoring your mother over your father. That's covetousness. Yeah, I'm not Killing someone yeah. is covetousness because it comes from hatred. Jealousy, envy, all that covetousness falls under the same line thing. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.